In this video, we cover the APAS process. I'm sure this is your favorite process and you use it each and every time you open PixInsight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can tell you something. You will use this APAS process now once while we do this tutorial and it will be helpful for you in the future that you have done that. But afterwards, actually you can forget about it again at all. So what is it? First of all, it's the second process in the alphabet in PixInsight, and you can also find it in star catalogs. Here it is. So, APAS stands for AAVSO Photometric All Sky Survey, while AAVSO is the American Association of Variable Star Observers. And I'm sure you know now about the same much as you knew before. So what is it? What does it do? In principle, this is not a process at all. This is a star catalog. And what actually is cataloged is the color of the stars. Or to be precise, the detailed photometric measurements. And probably now a bell starts ringing when you think about the photometric color calibration. This process somehow needs to get this information about the color of the stars that it can actually do its job. And it's exactly from this catalog that it takes this information. So great, you will say. Now you know what APAS is, but what should you do with this process? Actually, there's one thing you can do. Usually, what is happening if you're using the photometric color calibration, once you start it, it downloads all the data and then it does its job. And it doesn't have to be that way. You can actually download this whole database and afterwards you don't need the connection to the internet anymore and the process runs faster. So that's something cool and we check now out how to do that. So for that, we need to go to the PixInsight homepage. You go to Downloads, Software Distribution, and now you have to enter here your credentials that you received once you bought PixInsight. Once you're in here, you see here these databases. And what you do now, you take the APAS DR10. You open it here and you click on this link. Now it will download the thing. It's 2.4 gigabytes, so it might take a moment until it's downloaded. Okay, took me about 10 minutes and now it's actually downloaded. So what are we going to do now with it? You just put it in any directory. It doesn't really matter. You just have to know where to put it and probably at some place where you have enough hard drive space and it should probably be a place within the computer, not on some external drive. So I just did that now. And now once we have that, we can actually go back into Pix inside. In PixSight, we go now to this APAS process. We ensure that data release is actually on APAS DR10. That's crucial. Then we go down here to the wrench, click it. And now we actually click here on select and select the file here that we downloaded before and state open. Now you see it's actually in here now. We click on OK. And now we can already close this process down. There's nothing for us to do here anymore. As a next step, we have to go to a process which you might be familiar with. You go to color calibration and then to photometric color calibration. And in here, in the photometry parameters, you just unselect now automatic catalog and you just go here to the APAS DR10 XPSD. And from that moment on, when it goes around photometry, it will not go to the internet anymore, but it will actually use the catalog that we downloaded. And with that, you never have to think about this process again. And with that, we're also at the end of our video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and see you with the next process. Clear skies.